Yeah, it was a big win for us, and uh, we're proud of our team. Uh, I, I felt like we got a great effort and uh, definitely a great way to start our season off and uh, came out of it with no injuries. Uh, we had a lot of players that uh, stood out in the game. Uh, defensively, uh, we caused a lot of turnovers. Uh, Logan Cochran uh, had 13 uh, tackles for the night and uh, had a touchdown, picked up a fumble on a block punt and ran in for a score. Logan is, um, he's definitely our uh, hardest hitter on, on defense and uh, doesn't take a playoff. I mean, he, he, he brings it every play and uh, you always go, you can count on him to get a great effort. Uh, another guy that stood out the other night uh, in our defensive secondary was uh, a strong safety, uh, Trey Dempsey. Uh, had a big night with two interceptions and returned one of them for a touchdown. Uh, another guy, uh, defensive end, Randy, Randy uh, Hampton. Uh, had a big night for us. Uh, Randy is uh, he's uh, explosive off the ball. Uh, he can uh, he's uh, good at putting pressure on the quarterback. And uh, other night he caused some fumbles. He had one cause fumble, uh, one fumble recovery, and uh, blocked a punt for us. So uh, he he uh, had a good night and uh, definitely has been making some big plays for us. Offensively, uh, we had a. A good night, but uh, you know we had some turnovers. We had four turnovers. That we got to eliminate that. But uh, really proud of our effort. Uh, Raheem Dumas had a big night for us. Uh, he completed 10 or 12 passes for 188 yards and uh, three touchdowns. Uh, really made some athletic plays in there and uh, did a heck of a job for us. Uh, got a big, big game out of Ian Baker. Uh, by far his. Best game is a dreadnought. Uh, he caught five passes for 122 yards and two touchdowns. And uh, Ian's a big target out there, so we uh, need to get some more of that out of him. And uh, it helps us to be a little more versatile and spread the field a little bit more. Uh, Salford had another big night from last week. Uh, caught uh, four passes for us and uh, uh, caught one for a touchdown. Uh, but really, the night on offense, I felt like uh, w went to the offensive line. Uh, if, you, if you're going to win ball games and you're going to be consistent, uh, you got to have great offensive line play to allow your skill guys uh, to make the plays to play. And uh, you know, I'm really fortunate and blessed to have Coach Flath as our offensive line coach. Uh, he's such a great uh, technician, and uh, year after year provides us with. Uh, great offensive lines and this year is off to a good start. We've had two really good games up there but, uh, up front out of our offensive line. Um, Evan Goodman, uh, of course Evan is the um, a big time recruit. Everybody's recruiting Evan and uh, he, he's committed to Arizona State uh, but uh, certainly doing a great job for us as well as uh, Matt Bowden, Alex Nutting. Alex started for us last year. He's one of the two starters back this year and Alex is uh, providing good leadership for us up there. Kendall Thurn uh, switched over from defense is playing offensive guard for us. It's uh, really uh, is doing a heck of a job for us. And Devontae uh, Mackey is the lone underclassman up there. He's a sophomore and we feel like he's got great potential to be, to be a very good offensive lineman for us down in the future. Uh, really proud of our kicking game and uh, Caleb Huff uh, is doing a great job for us, uh, whether it's extra points or kicking off. Uh, had a lot of nice kicks the other night, uh, pinning them in the corner right there and uh, we had good kickoff coverage. Um, uh, Danny Williams, our running back coach, has uh, pretty much taken charge of our kickoff uh, team and uh, has done a heck of a job of getting those guys and getting them down in their lanes and, and covering the kickoffs. So uh, overall, you know, a, it was a good night for the Dreadnoughts and uh, we're, we're looking forward to next week's game. Well, Tiller Rock is, <clears throat> you know, they're coming in and, uh, they, you know, I really, uh, they're, They've got by far the best team that they've had since they've been there. Uh, Dave Robinson, their head football coach, uh, has done a tremendous job. And, uh, you know, they're, they're uh, defensively, they're full forward defense, and uh, they really do a good job. Their, their defensive line uh, plays with their uh, pads, low pads, and uh, will get down and shoot the gaps on you. Uh, got good linebacker play. They, they play up pretty tight to the line of scrimmage, and uh, they're downhill. Uh, in a hurry, filling their gaps, and uh, you know, in the, the secondary, so they're they're sound and they do a very good job coaching those guys on, on defense. Um, 
offensively, um, uh, the quarterback makes them go. Travis Tucker, uh, he's a junior. Uh, actually, this is his third year starting uh, at quarterback for him, and uh, he's a weapon out there. Uh, whether he's throwing the football or creating plays with his legs or whether he's reading a zone read and, and keeping the ball, I mean, he, he's definitely the guy that can uh, – make him go and, and uh, is uh, definitely a college prospect down the line and uh, a very good football player. Offensively, they, they run out of a uh, spread formation similar to what we do and also they'll line up in the I formation and, uh, and run the ball at you. So, uh, you know, the biggest thing about Tunnel Rock that, uh, you know, when we play, uh, we realize that uh, anytime we play Polk County team or anybody in Bryant Stadium that we're going to get their A game. So uh, I know we'll get a, you know, they're going to be ready to play. And uh, we just hope that our guys are focused, dialed in, and uh, ready, ready to meet the challenge. We're proud of all our Red Knots out there playing football. Uh, Chris Rainey had an exceptional game uh, to start the season off. Uh, and I think you, if he can stay healthy, uh, you know, I think you're going to see uh, – Chris Rainey, like like you saw him in high school. I mean, he, he's uh, a dominating player. He's explosive and uh, can make unbelievable cuts, almost stop, and then get his speed going back. Uh, you know, quicker than anybody I've seen. But uh, uh, really proud of Chris, uh, the way he's battled through some things and got everything straight. And uh, it sounds like he's uh, been a good team. Uh, mate to uh, all his players up there and, and, and been a leader. But we got a lot of guys doing good out there. Uh, Jarrett Higgins, a wide receiver. This is uh, Jarrett's uh, second year at Florida State, his sophomore that uh, had a big night. He caught five passes for Florida State the other night. And the coaches really rave about his work habits and uh, how he works hard in, in practice and stuff. So it's good to see that pay off for him. Uh, Quishon Neely is playing at uh, Georgia Tech. Uh, he got in the other night and uh, got a fumble recovery. Uh, Will Lucas, uh, the coaches are really raving over Will. He's starting at Purdue, uh, sophomore this year. Uh, had seven tackles the other night. And uh, the coaches also feel like it, that uh, he's going to be a big time player before he graduates out of there. Uh, ben McRoy uh, saw where he had a 31 uh, kickoff return the other, other day. He's at Texas Tech doing well. Uh, his younger brother, Javars, uh, who transferred from Florida that's uh, uh, not eligible this year, is uh, also doing well out there. So, you know, we just um, got a lot of players out there doing good, and uh, we're proud of them represent. And uh, we're, we're also proud of uh, Marquise Pouncey, Mike Pouncey, that's with a Dolphins and Marquise, of course, with Pittsburgh and uh, Mod Black. Uh, saw where he he got cut and then got picked up on the practice squad by Tampa Bay. So uh, before it's all said and done, I'm sure Mod's going to make himself known at uh, at the Bucks. I really can't take credit for all that, and uh, you know I've always been the the type. You know, it's one game at a time, one play at a time, and uh, as soon as that game's over, focus on the next game. And uh, next thing you know, you coach 36 years. But uh, there's a lot of intangibles go into uh, winning, and and uh, we just got uh, tremendous support uh, from our boosters club, to our administrators, to uh, football players buying into what we do and wanting to carry on our tradition. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of ingredients and a lot of people involved when you talk about success of a program. Uh, it's one thing to win, uh, you know, one year, but to win year after year, that takes more than uh, one person. So we've been blessed to have great coaches uh, that, that are really dedicated to the game and they're true football coaches that uh, spend a lot of time in the off season studying it and trying to find better ways to do things. And that's one thing I'll say about our Booster club they haven't never gotten content with our success they continue want to try to make things better at uh, whether it's at Bryant Stadium or just in our in our program and uh, certainly we uh, got to give a lot of credit to uh, coach Kimbrell our boosters club and uh, Mike Nichols uh, over the years I mean the job that uh, they've done in uh, creating an environment at, at, at Bryant Stadium has uh, been a big asset to our program and uh, definitely a big time uh, contributing factor to our success.